welcome to Selfie Torah. Do you like my estrog tree? They're beautiful estrogum. They're growing wonderfully. Ah, uh, yeah, no, it's, they're plastic. Anyway, a disturbing thing happened to me last week. I was walking in a parking lot outside a restaurant, and a fellow approaches me, and he is holding a box in his hands. He says, sir, would you like to buy some boots for your son? So I said, no, not really, sorry. He's like, no, they're, they're $200 boots and I'm selling them for 40 bucks. Said, okay, I'm, I'm sorry, but <laughs> I'm just not buying uh, boots for 40 bucks. Anyway, just not happening. Um, thank you so much. He then proceeds to curse me in very offensive language and um, talking about the fact that, oh, you probably won't buy it from me because you only buy it retail in a store for expensive because all you Jews are so rich. And I'm thinking, wow, well, he doesn't know me very well if that's what he thinks. But it got me thinking, here's a guy, he probably doesn't know many Jews, might not know any Jews, but he has this assumption automatically of something he's heard, something that he's absorbed from the world about what Jews are, which is incredible. And we actually spoke about it in Stump the Rabbi uh, in the Yil Shabbos one of the recent weeks. You can take a look at it there, look at the archives. But, you know, in this week's Torah portion, there's an amazing lesson in how other people perceive us. The Torah talks about stealing from a ger, stealing from a stranger, someone who comes to live in Israel and is not yet Jewish, but is living amongst the Jews. The Sephorno, one of the great classic commentators, says that this sin of stealing from someone who is living among the Jews is more egregious, it's worse than typical theft. Why? Because these people are coming to Israel to live among the Jews expecting a certain standard and by violating that standard by stealing from them, it's a chilul Hashem, it's a desecration of God's name. We are representatives constantly of God as God's people. And everything we do as a recognizable Jew is incredibly powerful as a potential for chilul Hashem, or Kiddush Hashem, sanctifying God's name. And people have impressions of us, however it is, but every single time a Jew walks into the street, is at line on a store, interacts with their children, speaks to another person, says hello to neighbor on the street. All of these interactions help create the image that we want of a Kiddush Hashem, and we all have the obligation to make sure that people like that fellow in the parking lot don't have this impression of negativity towards the Jewish people, but only positivity as God's people who act in the best possible way. From Las Vegas, Nevada, and my Estrog tree, that's fake. Have an Aguila Shabbat. I really am always eating stuff on this, huh?